Hello everyone. Hopefully you're getting a few people just joining. Um, if you're watching already, I'm Eve, I'm editor of Professional Beauty. And uh, thank you for joining for the live. Just gonna wait a few minutes to uh, make sure people get the notification and get on to join us. Um, but I'm gonna be chatting today um, to Joanne Leahy, who is the head of training at 3D Aesthetics. And we're gonna be talking about how to get results from radio frequency microneedling. Um, which is a big thing at the moment. I think um, lots of people have seen a lot about radio frequency microneedling. There's devices coming out um, and it's just, uh, yeah, we want to get a little bit more information from Joanne about how it works, um, the benefits, who it's good for, and a little bit about uh, the 3D Aesthetics device too. So um, yeah, just got a few people joining, which is great to see. Hopefully we have Joanne. I think I have a request from her. Here we go. So I'm adding Joanne in now. Joanne, if you're watching i've just added you in hopefully and sent you a request so if you accept that I should be able to get you through fabulous here we are can you hear me okay yeah we can hear you, hear you loud and clear how are you fabulous very well thanks hi roy hi joanne how are you both yeah very well thank you we're all good yeah really good excellent, really good. excellent. Okay, well, yeah, I was just saying uh, before I brought you in that we're going to be chatting a little bit about how to get results from radio frequency microneedling. Um, so, yeah, I suppose if we can start off just talking about uh, the technology, really. It's, it's certainly grown in popularity this year. So, Joanne, would you just be able to explain a little bit about how it works and the skin conditions that it's best for? Yeah, there's, there's many different things, really, that you can use the RF microneedling for. I suppose what people are mainly concerned about now is more anti-aging. We, as we get older and we hit kind of uh, mid-age, we don't like to see lines of wrinkles. We don't like the, the looseness within the skin. We also um, want to improve the quakiness within the skin. And this is something that you can do with the microneedling. It's um, very sort of specific to where it's treating within the skin. So there's certain things that you can treat really, really well. Um, we tend to say and tend to, to tell our clients that it's very good for rejuvenation, it helps with skin tightening, but it also can help with overall skin texture as well. So if you feel that your skin is you know, a little bit dull, a little bit lifeless, and you want to kind of wake your skin up a little bit, the, the microneedling is probably a really perfect um, tool for that, to be honest. It can also help um, on the body as well, so not just face. So if your client is struggling maybe with stretch marks or even on the hands, you know, a lot of people suffer with or they, they, they don't like the way the hands look. We can even do treatments on the hands as well. So it works really well on those kind of conditions. And um, what it kind of involves is basically, as we do a lot in aesthetics, is causing trauma to the skin to encourage repair. So you're working on the body's own natural ability to repair. So you're basically making tiny little holes within the skin using the radio frequency just to target that procedure a little bit more and relying on, on the, the repair of the collagen. I think the, something I'd like to add there Eve is that I think like a lot of these trends that come along you know I think sometimes we're all very quick to grab onto the trend um, but I think equally it's important like anything is to adopt a very much a prescriptive approach um, you know whether you're offering a basic high, Hydra 2 type facial or your own, <clears throat> excuse me, preferred facial routines. A lot of these things can really come in um, as an add-on and for you to kind of form a, a very much a prescriptive approach to your client's needs to ensure that you're treating all of their indications and, and getting the best possible results. Excellent. There's no yeah. getting away from the fact that microneedling RF is a standout treatment. Uh, it really is very effective, it's fast, um, and yeah, the results that people are getting out there super super great yeah great thank you so i suppose for a lot of people they may have already been using radio frequency or microneedling um on their own what are the benefits i suppose of combining the technologies why is this better than using one or the other or, or one after the other joe's the go-to for that answer <laughs> So, so we, we, uh, radio frequency is a really solid technology for skin tightening. It also does you know, things with cellulite as well. Um, and it heats the, the dermal tissue to 40 degrees, 40 to 42 degrees, because we know at that temperature that we can um, cause trauma to the existing collagen, so we encourage the repair. Um, the difference is with this is that your radio frequency is actually a little bit hotter, because as the needles go into the skin, they are insulated. 
So there's only like a, a small portion at the bottom of the needle that actually delivers the radio frequency. So as it's inserted into the skin, you have um, protection on the epidermis. So that enables us to just go a little bit hotter underneath the skin. This causes a little bit more trauma to the existing kind of dehydrated collagen. Um, and that obviously induces the uh, repair, fibroblast activity in collagen repair. So basically you've got, you know, more heat, more trauma, more repair. So the, the results are gonna come just a little bit more um, further on down the line. And, and as we all know, it takes collagen around about 60 to 90 days to repair fully. So your results are progressive. Um, and you generally say that you get the best effect probably three months after your treatment. And depending on how your skin is will depend on how many treatments you will need. So in average, it, it could be maybe one session just to kind of brighten your skin, or maybe if you've got more concerns, then potentially up to three, if you have a few more okay. concerns. Okay, so that was, uh, I was going to ask that as well. How, I mean, does it vary then a lot as to how quickly clients will see results? Because I suppose that's something that clinics and salons are asked um, all the time. You know, how, how quickly will I see results? How long is this going to take to work? So is that quite varied depending on condition? Yeah, you, you get that initial response because again, because you're using heat and you're obviously with the microneedling making tiny little holes in the skin, you get that initial kind of inflammatory response. Um, so that is nice because as client goes out, they look kind of fresh, they look, the skin looks plump. Um, and then you get that collagen repair. So we always find as well, the better the clients looks after themselves, the, the quicker the results actually come. So aftercare is really important that they use good skincare, they follow up with um, you know, plenty of water to help the healing. So the more the client is at home, the better. And then getting the client in maybe for more superficial facials during that healing time can also help as well. So mm -hmm. it's not just something that the client has to have and then leave, you can continue and as Roy was saying earlier, combine with other technologies as well to enhance the results. Certainly yeah. the feedback that we've been getting Eve is that, you know, it's one of those treatments that you have it and, it, and you go out really feeling like you've had something done. Uh, the other thing to note is that we're finding the feedback that we're getting from our own clinic and also from clinics out there that we're talking with uh, because now people are interacting with this type of technology so regularly, they're really looking for very um, good facial aesthetic treatments that are going to enhance their appearance. Uh, it saves all the use of filters, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> are we filtered today, Joe? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely no filters on this side. No, same. I'm the uh, missing. It's <laughs> the trouble with sure, being live. Really <laughs> And um, fabulous, thank you. And we also obviously want to talk about your uh, radio frequency microneedling device. So this is the Dermaforce, which is your, your latest launch. So can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Um, how does it differ from other RF microneedling devices on the market? Uh, what's special about the Dermaforce? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the things that there are, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say, well, ours is better because, because at the end of the day, a lot of these machines work in a very similar way. I think what I would say is that it's down to individuals uh, and clinic owners to do their research, but really know what they're researching. There are certain things that are important, uh, like are, are the needles insulated? Now, and the reason that's important is because if the needles aren't insulated, it could damage the epidermis, for example. What we're doing is we're doing a layered approach to deliver a depth between 0.5 and 3.5. So that's the first thing. The second thing is um, the actual size of the needles. I mean, obviously, it's common sense that the finer the needle, the less invasive it is in respect to pain. So it's always good to look out for the specification as far as the, uh, the diameter of the needle to ensure uh, that it's going to be a, get delivering the most comfortable element. Uh, Joe, what, what are those areas would you focus in? I mean, there's the RF energy. Um, but again, as long as the RF energy is sufficient to deliver the temperature that we want, then more RF energy doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be any better. It could be more damaging. It's really the specifications that are important, the area, the size of the needles that you're using as far as the overall, we use 6425, um, this type of thing. But I suppose for me, the thing that we champion as a company is affordability because I'll use two examples and history repeats itself all the time in this industry. You know, you look at cryolipolysis, people were selling machines, and I'm not gonna mention names, um, at 80,000 pounds and telling you, you can charge 1,500 pounds a treatment. You can buy a high food device when they first came out, 60,000 pounds, but you can charge two and a half thousand pounds a treatment. Well, maybe the 1% of clinics can do that, um, but a lot of the other clinics can't. And with every single treatment like 
dermaforce or radio frequency micro uh, needling. The prices initially start high, but they will come down and down and down as the market competition increases. So for me, I would say the reason dermaforces stand out is because of its price point, its affordability, as well as its specification. From a, a point of view as well, so from a therapist's point of view, kind of delivering the treatment as well, it's quite accurate, it's really controlled. So you tend to find that the needles kind of um, insert really gently, it's a gentle approach, whereas um, in some cases um, it can be quite heavy and it can stamp quite hard, so this is a nice gentle approach and retract. So it's what we call like a stepping motion as well. So you only need the one uh, tip for the different levels and you actually set that into the system. So it's really straightforward to use, which is nice. I guess the other one, Joe, is easy software, right? I mean, yeah, it's a very, yeah, very easy system yeah. to, to manage yeah. and control. Um, and, and again, like anything, and I'm pointing out the obvious, it's important that when anyone invests, it's not just the machine they invest in, it's the corporation. You know, from our point of view, we're ISO 13485 certified. Um, and we have a lot of depth within our organization to support the clinics. The other thing you've got to look at is, of course, the, um, the, the, yeah, the support in relation to engineering, training, and everything else, plus the marketing materials that the company provides. It's got to be the whole, you know, the whole package that's important. Yes, the device is important, but it's everything else that stands behind it. Yeah. Too many companies out there promise big and deliver short. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So that's really interesting. There's some really kind of good questions to ask, you know, when you're looking at the market and deciding on a device, just making sure which, uh, which questions to ask all the suppliers are useful. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's, it, it's good to, you know, to go out to all the different companies. You know, we, competition's great. You know, if you're good at what you do, you're going to win out. And, uh, you know, just it's important that people just get a list of important questions that they want to ask, not just about the device and the price point, but all of the other elements that they're getting with their purchase as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we, we've sort of covered this already, but the, the last question I was going to ask was really about um, benefits to salon or clinic owners. And um, why should they? I mean, it's, it's a big investment. Any, any device is a big investment. So what, why should they invest in RF microneedling as a technology? Um, and I suppose specifically why the derm, of course. Yeah, OK. Well, to answer that, I think that sometimes it is good to get involved with trends because there's a lot of awareness out there in the marketplace from the consumer. So the consumer is aware of this treatment at the moment and a lot of clinics want to capture that awareness. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, at the end of the day, the best way to capture that awareness is again affordability because it might be that your supplier is telling you you can charge £1,500 a day but when that awareness drains a little bit then it's going to be very difficult to do that. So you know, we're pro we're, our price point is £300 per treatment in the marketplace where others are double that. Um, and although other companies might say you can charge £600, not for long, because once the market gets saturated, that price point historically will come yeah. down. So why else, uh, I would champion again the affordability, but equally what I would say is that, as always, 3D have got plans, um, plans to, to create a lot of market awareness for our treatment and our brand uh, that our clinics will benefit from. Excellent. So it's that package again, as you say, you asking the need. questions and the support. <laughs> exactly. <Excellent. yeah. laughs> well, thank yeah. you very much, I'm both sorry. of you. It's been Joe's, really I think Joe's just got a point. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Go ahead, Joe. Sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say that it's a pretty quick treatment as well, depending on what you're working on. So your treatment yeah. times can be sort of from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on the severity of the skin. So it's quite easy to fit in the day. Um, and also right. you can do sort of shorter treatments as well if, if needed, like we said, the hands and so on. So if you've got a 20 minute appointment, you know, that can be slotted in quite nicely. And at £300 pounds for half an hour treatment, the, you know, it's a, it's a great return on investment. You've got £600 pounds a, a, an hour return uh, and you will get that, you know. So, so yes, it's a, it's a good time to buy. And what we've done actually is anyone who inquires today quoting professional beauty uh, will receive a very competitive quotation. So uh, come on the website and inquire now. Thank you. Fabulous. All right, well, thank you very much. It's been really interesting. I think uh, there's, look, we've had lots of people joining live, so clearly a lot of interest in the RF uh, microneedling at the moment. So it's, uh, yeah. it's great to hear it from you guys. Thank you very much, Joanne and Roy. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Take care now. And thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye everybody.